Okay, uh, okay guys, so hello everyone. So in this video, we'll actually try to see an interesting pattern. Okay, let's see what's that. We are supposed to do a pattern of triangle, okay? Let me see what is that. Let me just show it to you. Let's do it again for n equal to 4 only. Oh, sorry. Okay, so see. What can I observe from here? If I take n equal to 3, okay, this is a pattern, this is a triangle, okay. So, this is my target. When this is n equal to 3, this is n equal to 4. Again, try to break your problem into small problems. Let's see. n equal to 4, how many uh, rows I have? I have 4 rows. That means row is corresponding to my value of n. Which I can handle using one while this while as less than or equal to n. Initially, I'll make i equal to one, and then again i equal to i plus one, and c out and del. Okay, this can handle the something to go at each row four times. Upgrade. Now I went there and see here one more thing I would like to study. Actually, it's something like this. Actually, it's not a triangle. It's something like this. We have a square. Okay, we have a square. If we have a square, then again I'll tell you. We have three spaces here. Here two spaces. Here two, oh sorry, here we have two spaces. Here we have one space and then here we have zero space. Okay. Assume that there is no space because actually my handwriting is not that good. So the issue is actually due to the handwriting only. Okay, so see. One, two, three space, one, two space, one space, and there is no space out here. Making sense? So if you see previous video we saw how to handle the spaces that means one something has to be one while loop has to be there to handle the spaces that's going from c properly if you see properly again the spaces is n minus i each row contains n minus i spaces i equal n equal to 4 4 minus 1 3 spaces n equal to 4 i equal to 2 2 spaces n equal to 4 i equal to 3 1 space n equal to 4 i equal to 4 no space making sense okay this is done now printing, we are supposed to print only star, so symbol. We will be printing star, but how many times? See properly. Let's see this pattern as well. If i equal to 1, 1 star, i equal to 2, 2 star, sorry, not 2 star, it's 3, 3 star, right. i equal to 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 star, okay, great. i equal to 4, 1, 2, 3, 7 stars. Okay. Now, anyone, can you give me a formula for this? Just think. I equal to 1, 1 star, 2, 2 star, 3, 5 star, 4, 7 star. Anything? Anyone? What if I run my loop to 2 into i minus 1? 2 into i minus 1. So, let's see. What will this give me? First, I equal to 1. Print 1 star. 2 ones are 2. Minus 1, 1 star. Okay. I equal to 2. So, 2 into 2 minus 1, 4, uh, sorry, not 4, 4 minus 1, yeah, 4 minus 1, 3, i equal to 3. So, 2 into 3 is a 6 minus 1, 5, i equal to 4, 4 to the 8 minus 1, 7 stars. Understanding what formula we're going to use? We're going to use, to print them, we're going to use 2 into i minus 1, this formula. Okay, I hope it's clear how we're supposed to tackle the problem. First is going to be one loop for going to each row, one loop to create all the spaces, one loop to print this much number of stars. Try it out. Try it out in case if you are able to not, uh, if you are able to do then that's great. If not, then it's fine. Just come and see the video, okay? But first you try it, okay? So I hope you gave it a try. Okay, so now let's understand how we'll do it. Let me just clear this up. Okay. Great. Now let's come here. First, let's take care of the outer loop. Okay, so int i equal to 1 while i is less than or equal to n. This will take care of the row. Okay, c out and l c out. Sorry, i equal to i plus 1. This part is clear, right? Come here for the spaces. So I'll be creating int j equal to 1 while 
j is less than or equal to what n minus i make sense and sorry again again i forgot to take the input from the user so let's create an Take the users take the input on the user okay yeah, so logs him enter the number okay take it inside of scene inside of n we took our number we are here what we're doing here we're trying to take care of the spaces so it's gonna be m minus i how c out okay great put, put a space make sense okay. I hope this part is clear but after doing this is you need to even increase the value of j equal to j plus 1 right now come here while i is less than or equal to 2 into i minus 1 we found this right now right so see either you write like this okay either you write like this or in, instead of giving this equal that means as soon as it comes to 8 then it will not print so if you give here then you need to subtract one value from here Okay, understood why we did. Okay, let's first do till what we're supposed to actually. After that, I'll show you the thing. Okay, it's just the same thing. I think you can understand that. So what we were doing here, we are supposed to. What we are supposed to? Do? Sorry, it's going to be I. It's going to be something like K. And uh, let me write here K. Let's take K here. Int K equal to one. And C out. Star. Right. And come here make k equal to k plus 1 this is for printing the stars okay now let's see and then again do the pattern okay so let me just run it once let's try for 4 okay 4 you can see understood let's take something smaller or else in order to understand let's take 3 okay let's take 3 so let's take three. Making sense? So now let's understand the dry run. Okay, so let me come here and do it from here. Okay, great. I equal to one. That's great. Is it less than n? Yes, because n equal to three, right? It made j equal to one, and j will run from i minus one, n minus i, right? From one to n minus i. So okay, what is the value of i? I equal to one. What is the value of n? n is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 spaces okay 2 spaces done come here k, uh, k equal to 1 now k is going from k less than or equal to 2 into i minus 1 so i value is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 is less than or equal to 1 yes right so obviously print star okay print star i print star now k will be increased from 1 to 2 so now 2 is less than or equal to 1 no then come out of the loop and go and go on the next line. Okay, obviously it's not showing here, but you need you know right, you need to go to the next line. After going to the next line, your i value will be increased from one to two. Now i became two. I was initially one, but now it became two. Okay. N remains three only. I came here. Now three minus two because n is three, i is two. So print only one gap. Okay. Come to the k part. How much elements we need to print? So again 2 into i minus 1 so 2 into i what is i i is 2 minus 1 that is 3 it will go from 1 to less than equal to 3 it will go and print 3 times so 3 times star is printed 1 2 3 again uh, as soon as your k becomes 4 so 4 is less than equal to 3 no this loop will get terminated again you will move to the next line okay after moving to the next line i became 3 so 3 is less than equal to 3 yes it is true then come inside the loop now 3 minus 3 for this uh, spaces no is zero so no space no space right come to the k part for this printing so 2 into i what is i 3 minus 1 it means 3 to the 6 minus 1 5 right so now here i am coming and saying k is less than or equal to this so k value of initially is 1 so 1 is less than or equal to 5 yes print star print star k became 2 2 print one more star Okay, now again 3, print one more star, again 4, print one more star, again 5, print one more star. After all this 5 stars has been printed, k will become 6. 6 is less than or equal to 5. No, then this also will cancel. Now again, if you go and increase the value of i to 4, so at this part, i equal to 4 and equal to 3. Okay, at one point, so 4 is less than or equal to 3. 
no that means the whole main loop will also terminate and nothing will run what is inside the loop making sense what we are doing in this program simple right okay so i hope the programs are somehow clear to you guys okay let's run one more time for a bigger number it will look good let's run it for seven okay so let's run it for seven let's give the value to seven okay let me just clear this okay i hope you understood how we're getting this spaces are getting you know obviously you understood how it's getting here we'll be having how many spaces six spaces right six five four three two one and zero spaces okay so i hope the you can understand how to print this triangle okay so see you guys in the next video thank you